Hey, what's up? Eric Wong here from PrecisionMovement.Coach. And today I'm going to take you through seven unique rotator cuff strengthening exercises. So as you can see down below, I've got a variety of equipment. So we're going to be doing some body weight exercises, exercise with kettlebell, dumbbell, and even a, a ring here that's not attached to anything. That's a, a really cool one for you, okay? And then we're going to talk about at the end, if you've got a strain rotator cuff, a torn rotator cuff that you're coming back from, or some shoulder impingement, then you'll want to check out what I've got for you after we go through the exercises, all right? So let's whip through this. Now, the first exercise is called the shoulder PNF. And PNF is just a, a system of rehabilitation and training to get things working properly, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Okay, so the shoulder PNF, what you're gonna do is with my right arm, I'm just gonna reach in front, palm up, and then sweep right up in front of my face, elbow stays straight the whole time, right by my ear, and then rotate, so I internally rotate and reach behind me, okay? Reach behind and then externally rotate, palm up, and repeat. Okay, so this is gonna scour the joint through its full range and develop control through that full range. So if you're suffering from tight shoulders, this is great too. So do anywhere from three to five reps there, and then we can move on. So next up, we've got the twisting wall press. Now this is a unique exercise. What you wanna do is you wanna set up so that when you turn around and reach behind you, your hand is flat on the wall, okay? Feet are shoulder width apart, athletic stance, and you're just gonna rotate, twist, hand on the wall, press into the other side. Now during this movement, this exercise, keep your knees straight and try to keep your hips square. So we're developing some rotation, mobility through the hips and through the spine, okay? Not so much through the spine, more through the hips. But keep those knees straight and just rotate under control, lower yourself to the wall and press. And this is gonna work that rotator cuff muscle in that end range of motion with the shoulder horizontally abducted. So we're gonna develop control and stability throughout the range of motion, okay? So you could do anywhere from four to eight repetitions per side for that one. Next up, we have the supine external rotation. Now, if you have no equipment, this is great because here we're gonna just set, let's get this out of the way a little bit, set your shoulder blades down. So you're gonna retract the scapula pinch them together, and then all you're gonna do is externally rotate, and once you reach the end here, press for three seconds into the, into the floor, and then come back down, okay? So I'm keeping my scapula retracted, pressing, firing up the external rotators here, and then rotating down, okay? And we can do anywhere from six to 10 repetitions, pressing for three to five seconds there, okay? now say we want to do some dumbbell work. Well, you've got your standard external rotation, side-lying external rotation, but this exercise is called the side shoulder sweep. So side support shoulder sweeps. You're going to have your hand on the ground, hand is directly under the shoulder, and feet, you go top in front, or you can stack them. It's up to you. I like top in front, heel to toe. You're going to grab your dumbbell. Now keeping your body square, your body doesn't move, this shoulder blade, the scapula is retracted here and just stable. And then you're gonna sweep all the way up, not letting the torso rotate at all, sweeping the shoulder in front here. And this is great because we're not only working dynamic, that dynamic motion there, the horizontal abduction, we're also working dynamic stability of the arm that's on the ground. So six to 12 repetitions, for that exercise per side, okay? And all these exercises, you could do anywhere from one to three sets is sufficient, one to two times a week. Now, you're not gonna do all these exercises, but pick and choose. You can kind of see what's working for you, or you, maybe you get an idea of what you need to improve your shoulder stability from this set here, okay? Next exercise with the kettlebell. You got the bottoms up press, okay? This is a challenging one. You're gonna build a little more strength. Definitely need grip strength, okay? for this, but you're just gonna stand, stand up, or you can go in a half kneeling position or kneeling position if you want, and just a strict press with the kettlebell 
in the bottoms up position. So they want to go slow and under control, like so. Very easy. You can work anywhere from six to 12 reps per side is good for that one, okay? Building a little more strength with that. Okay, now this next one is really cool. I call it the lasso. And I've just got a ring here because that's what I've got around here. And you're just gonna hold this, maybe about a foot and a half worth of rope. And just keeping the shoulder or the elbow tucked to the side, you're just gonna rotate out this way. And just do this, keeping the elbow tucked to the side, not smoking yourself in the head for 30 to 60 seconds, okay? And this is using a technique called rhythmic stabilization. So rhythmic stabilization is anywhere there's a, some type of a rhythm that you have to, to stabilize. So it could be you doing it with a ball wrapped up on a rope, so a rope taped around a ball. You whip it around like that. You can use a ring like this. Just doing 30 to 60 seconds, rotating it, okay? And that's just gonna fire up in a dynamic way and it's the shoulder, all the muscles of the scapula and the shoulder are gonna have to react to stabilize there. So it helps to fire up sleepy muscles, okay? So if you've got muscles that aren't firing properly in your rotator cuff, this can help. And you can go both directions in different positions, okay? Play around with it. Okay, so that's the last two. And finally, we're gonna hit up the Cuban rotation. So this one you might know, but this one, you're just gonna get a, a barbell. You don't need much weight, so I'm just showing with the dowel, but just to show you the technique. But you can have maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds, just an empty Olympic bar. That is good enough for most people's purposes. And all you're gonna do is keeping your shoulders abducted, so you're abducted to this position, and you want to avoid downward rotation, so a lot of downward rotation of the shoulder where they just flop over like that. So you want to keep the shoulders set, centered, and you're just going to rotate like so. Okay, under control, nice and slow, avoiding that downward rotation of the shoulder, keeping the scapula set and the shoulder set in a good position, good neutral position. Okay, so there you have seven unique rotator cuff strength and exercise. Hopefully you've picked up a couple of new ones from those right there. And now if you've got a strained rotator cuff impingement, rotator cuff tendonitis, where you've torn your rotator cuff and you know, you've gone through the acute rehab and now you're just coming back, you wanna get back to performance or sports or whatever it is that you do, then check out the blog post that I'm gonna link at the end of this video or in the description because we're gonna go through seven steps to get back from your rotator cuff strain or tear in the shortest amount of time possible. Okay, so hit that up. We're gonna go through very specific steps and you can apply exercises like this. I'm gonna show you how to use them in that process on the blog post that's linked to you at the end. All right, so hope to see you over there. Talk to you next time, peace.